Let's imagine for a moment, a story as old as time, but as fresh as the morning dew, about two individuals from the same neighborhood with similar opportunities walking under the same sun. One finds himself at the age of 50 enjoying the gentle sea breeze from the balcony of his beachfront home, free as the birds that soar above the ocean. The other, well into his golden years, still finds himself navigating the stormy seas of financial uncertainty, chained to the oar of daily labor, far from the shores of financial freedom. You see, financial freedom isn't a treasure bestowed upon a fortunate few by fate. No, it's more like a garden. Yes, a garden that requires the right seeds of effort, the soil of perseverance, and the water of knowledge. It's not just having an abundance of wealth, but having the key to unlock the chains that bind us to financial constraints, allowing us the liberty to live life on our own terms. Now let's clear the fog around some common misconceptions. Many believe that financial freedom is a distant shore, reachable only by those blessed by the stroke of luck or born with a silver spoon. Financial freedom is no mirage in a desert, but a destination that is very much within walking distance. Yes, you heard right. It doesn't matter where you're starting from. What truly matters is where you're headed and the steps you're willing to take. How often have we told ourselves, if only I had more luck, or if only I'd been born into wealth? But here's a thought-provoking question for you. What if I told you that the key to unlocking the vault of financial freedom lies within you, waiting to be discovered? Yes, each one of us has the potential to achieve financial independence, not by waiting for the winds of fortune to sail our ship into the harbor of prosperity, but by rowing hard, guided by the stars of discipline, knowledge, and action. Let's consider for a moment the story of the two individuals I mentioned earlier. What differentiated their paths wasn't the hand they were dealt by life, but how they played their cards. The first individual made a conscious decision early on to educate himself about the principles of money management, to invest wisely, and to spend with foresight, turning the dream of financial freedom into his reality. The other, unfortunately, let his ship be guided by the currents of immediate gratification and the winds of financial neglect, only to find himself far off the course he once dreamed of charting. So, my friends, the question we must ask ourselves is not whether we can achieve financial freedom, but whether we are willing to learn the principles, apply the strategies, and make the necessary changes to our course to reach that coveted destination. Are we prepared to plant the seeds of financial wisdom in the fertile soil of our lives and nurture them with the water of discipline and persistence? To the garden of life, financial freedom is the most exquisite flower, and it is available to all who are willing to tend to their garden. Let us move out on a path that let us begin the work. Step by step, day by day, towards cultivating a future where financial freedom is not just a dream, but a living, breathing reality in our lives. In our quest for financial freedom, the path begins not with steps taken on the outside, but with the leaps we dare to take within our minds. Imagine your mind as a fertile field where the seeds of your future are sown. It's what we plant in this field. The thoughts we nurture and the beliefs we cultivate ultimately shape the landscape of our lives. It's a profound truth that our financial outcomes are directly influenced by the thoughts we harbor and the actions we undertake. The quality of the seeds we sow in our minds determines the quality of the harvest in our lives. Now let's ponder a fundamental question. Who holds the pen that writes the story of your financial destiny? The answer, though, simple, is often overlooked in the mirror every morning. Yes, it's you. You are the architect of your financial destiny. This isn't just a lofty idea, but a fundamental principle of personal responsibility. It's easy to attribute our financial state to external factors, the economy, luck, or the opportunities we were given or denied. However, true empowerment begins the moment we realize that we have the power to design our financial future. Consider for a moment, how do you view money? Is it a source of stress, a means to an end, or a tool for creating a life of abundance and generosity? Reflecting on your financial goals. An attitude towards money isn't just an exercise in thought, but a stepping stone towards transforming your financial reality. Your relationship with money, much like any other relationship in your life, requires understanding, respect, and a clear vision of what you want it to be. Now let me share a story. A simple yet powerful illustration of the power of mindset. There was once a young person, much like many of you, standing at the threshold of life, filled with dreams, ambitions, and a burning desire for success. However, this young person saw money as a perpetual source of anxiety and scarcity, a view inherited from generations past. But one day, inspired by the stories of those who had forged their path to financial freedom, they decided to shift their perspective. They began to see money not as a scarce resource, but as an abundant flow available to those who learn to tap into it. 
This shift in mindset from scarcity to abundance was the first step on their path to financial freedom. It was not the economy that changed, nor their job, but their mindset and with it, their financial destiny. So let me ask you, what seeds are you planting in the fertile field of your mind? Are they seeds of fear, doubt, and scarcity? Are they seeds of optimism, belief, and abundance? The actions you take, the decisions you make, all stem from the garden you cultivate in your mind. Remember, financial freedom begins not with the wealth we accumulate, but with the thoughts we nurture. As we navigate the complexities of our financial lives, let us do so with the conviction that we are the masters of our destiny. Let us take personal responsibility for our financial future, armed with the knowledge that our greatest asset in achieving financial freedom is our mindset. Let this realization be the foundation upon which we build our dreams. For when we change our thoughts, we change our actions, and ultimately, we change our financial outcomes. And let us move forward, not with trepidation, but with confidence, knowing that the path to financial freedom is within our grasp. If only we dare to shift our mindset and take responsibility for our financial journey. Let's take a moment to demystify this thing we call money. Stripping it down to its very essence, think of money not as mere paper and coins, but as a gardener thinks of water, essential for growth, a means to nurture and expand the garden of your life. This money in its simplest form is a tool, a resource that when used wisely can bring about abundance and prosperity. Now, let me share a principle that might seem as simple as sunlight, but is as profound as the deepest roots of an ancient tree, paying yourself first. Imagine every dollar you earn as a seed. Most people take these seeds and hand them over to others. Bills, expenses, the endless cycle of outgoing money. But what if you took the first seed, the very best, and planted it in your own garden? This is the essence of paying yourself first. Before you pay the bills, before you attend to the demands of the world, you invest in your future. If you had a basket of apples, would you give them all away without saving a few for planting? Saving and investing work precisely like this. The act of saving is not merely setting money aside. It's planting the seeds of your future financial freedom and investing. That's ensuring these seeds have the best soil, the right conditions to grow, flourish, and eventually bear fruit. Let's break down this concept with a simple analogy. Imagine you have a goose that lays golden eggs. Every day, you're tempted to consume these eggs, enjoying the immediate wealth they bring. However, if you were wise, you'd realize that some of these eggs should be used not for today's consumption, but for nurturing the goose, ensuring its health, and perhaps even buying more geese. This way, the potential for more golden eggs grows exponentially over time. That's the power of saving and investing. Saving a portion of your income is like ensuring you have eggs for the future, not just for today. Investing wisely is how you get more geese, expanding your capacity for wealth. This approach to money transforms it from a source of stress to a source of strength. Life. We often hear about the magic of compound interest. Yet how many truly understand and harness its power? Think of it as a snowball rolling down a hill. At first, it's small, almost insignificant. But as it rolls, it gathers more snow, growing larger with every turn. That's your money working for you, growing exponentially over time, not just by addition, but by multiplication. The key is starting early, letting time and patience work their magic. So my friends, let's view money through a new lens. It's not about how much you make, but how much you keep, how wisely you invest it, and how effectively you allow it to grow. Remember, in the garden of your finances, you are both the gardener and the architect. By paying yourself first, saving diligently, and investing wisely, you can turn the garden of your financial life into a place of abundance and beauty. With this understanding, I challenge you to look at your finances anew to see beyond the immediate and into the potential. Just as the mightiest oak begins as a single acorn, so too can your financial freedom grow from the simple, powerful act of paying yourself first. Let us nurture our financial resources with the same care, patience, and foresight as the most devoted gardener and watch as our lives blossom into something truly magnificent. Have you ever found yourself, at the end of the month, wondering where all your money went? It's like watching a magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat except the rabbit is your paycheck and the magician is, well, life itself. This common scenario leads us to a fundamental truth about achieving financial freedom. The discipline of budgeting and spending wisely. Living within one's means is not just a practice. It's an art. It requires the discipline to say no to the myriad of temptations that life throws our way. Imagine walking into your favorite store with a wallet full of cash. Everywhere you look, there's a sign screaming sale. 
Now that's a test of discipline if there ever was one. But here's where the art of budgeting comes into play. A budget is not a set of shackles designed to keep you from enjoying life. Instead, it's a roadmap that guides your spending to ensure that what truly matters isn't drowned out by impulsive buys. Now let's talk about some practical tips for keeping your expenses in check. First, distinguish between wants and needs. A need is something you can't live without. Food, shelter, clothing. A want, on the other hand, is anything that adds comfort or luxury to your life. It's okay to indulge in wants, but only after your needs and savings goals are met. Think of it as eating your vegetables for dessert. It might not always be what you want to do, but it's what will keep you healthy and happy in the long run. You know, avoiding common spending traps is another key skill to master. For instance, how often have you signed up for a free trial and forgotten to cancel it? Before you know it, you're funding a gym, you never visit or a magazine, you never read. These are the spending traps that quietly drain our resources and they can be avoided with a little attention and discipline. Let me share a relatable example and let's add a dash of humor to it. Picture this, you buy a fancy new coffee maker telling yourself it'll save money on coffee shops. Fast forward and the machine is collecting dust while you're still queuing up at the coffee shop every morning. Why? Because making coffee at home requires getting up earlier and the bed is just too warm. It turns out the real savings come from changing habits, not just purchasing gadgets. Wrapping up this part of our session together. Remember that budgeting and spending wisely is not about denying yourself the joys of life. It's about making sure you're spending on what truly brings you joy, security, and ultimately, financial freedom. It's about being mindful, not just with your money, but with your choices. Because at the end of the day, the most valuable currency we have isn't in our wallets. It's the time and freedom to enjoy the life we've built for ourselves. Let's delve into a concept that it when understood and utilized can be the key to unlocking the door to financial freedom. This concept is none other than compound interest, often referred to as the eighth wonder of the world by those who've seen its magic firsthand. To put it simply, Compound interest is interest on interest. It's what happens when your investments not only yield returns, but those returns, in turn, generate their own earnings. It's the financial equivalent of a snowball rolling downhill, gathering more snow and momentum as it goes. Imagine planting a single tree. In time, that tree bears fruit, and from that fruit, you can plant several more trees. Fast forward several years, and you no longer have a single tree, but an orchard. That's compound interest in the realm of nature. You start with a small investment, and over time, it grows exponentially, not linearly. The beauty of this concept lies not in the initial sum of money, but in the power of time and reinvestment. Now let's talk about the principles of wise investing. Principles that can turn this concept from a mere mathematical wonder into a reality in your financial life. The first principle is diversification. It's the idea of not putting all your eggs in one basket. In investment terms, it means spreading your investments across different assets. Diversification is your safety net. When one investment faces a storm, another might be basking in sunlight. Another cornerstone investing is the long-term approach. The magic of compound interest doesn't work overnight. It requires patience and a steadfast commitment to your financial goals. It's about playing the long game, understanding that true wealth building is a marathon, not a sprint. Think of it as cultivating a garden. You don't plant seeds today expecting a bountiful harvest tomorrow. It takes seasons of nurturing, watering, and waiting to bring these concepts to life. Let's consider the story of a person much like anyone here. This individual wasn't born into wealth, didn't win the lottery, nor did they invent the next big tech sensation. Instead, they started with a modest sum, saved from their regular job, and began investing with the principles of compound interest, diversification, and the long-term approach in mind. So they faced ups and downs, as all investors do. But they stayed the course, reinvesting the returns and allowing the magic of compounding to do its work. Years later, they found themselves not just financially secure, but financially free, able to pursue their dreams and passions without financial constraint. The story, though simple, underscores a powerful truth. Financial freedom is attainable for those who harness the principles of compound interest and disciplined investing. It's a reminder that you don't need a windfall to achieve financial independence. You need only the commitment to start, the discipline to continue, and the patience to see it through. So as we navigate our paths toward financial freedom, let's embrace the magic of compound interest, the wisdom of diversification, and the vision of the long-term approach. Let's remember that every small step we take today is planting the seeds for the orchard of tomorrow. And let's move forward with the knowledge that 
In the grand scheme of financial well-being, these principles are not just threads, but the very loom on which our dreams can be woven for financial independence. One of the most vibrant threads is the creation of multiple income streams. It's akin to planting various types of seeds in your garden, ensuring that if one crop doesn't flourish, others will. This diversity is not just a safeguard against financial drought, but a strategy to cultivate a rich harvest of opportunities. Why settle for a single source of income? When the world is brimming with possibilities, the concept of relying solely on a nine to five job for financial security is like sailing the vast ocean in a single boat. What if you could have an entire fleet? Multiple income streams offer you that fleet, each ship braving different seas, exploring new horizons and bringing treasures back to you. Let's dive into some ideas for generating these additional streams. First, consider the realm of side hustles. These aren't just part-time jobs, but passions turned into profit. Imagine turning your love for photography, baking, or woodworking into a source of income. It's about seeing the value in your hobbies and skills and sharing that value with the world. Then there's the world of passive income, a term that might sound like an oxymoron. How can income be passive? Well, it's about making your money work for you, not the other way around. It could be investing in rental properties, dividend paying stocks, or creating digital products that sell while you sleep. Passive income is the closest thing to financial alchemy we have, turning your initial effort into an endless stream of revenue. Let's consider the story of a teacher who, passionate about educating beyond the classroom, started an online course. With each enrollment, her knowledge reached corners of the globe she'd never visited, and her financial garden grew, one student at a time. Or the story of a carpenter who began crafting custom furniture. His unique designs, once a weekend hobby, now adorn homes across the country, each piece adding to his streams of income. These stories are not anomalies, but testaments to what's possible when we harness our creativity, skills, and the vast opportunities the digital age offers. They remind us that financial success is not reserved for the few with extraordinary luck or talent, but is accessible to anyone willing to explore, innovate, and take action. As we stand on the brink of possibilities, let us ask ourselves, what skills, passions, or knowledge do I possess that can open new doors of income? How can I diversify my financial endeavors to create a robust safety net and a thriving garden of opportunities? Creating additional streams of income is more than just a financial strategy. It's a celebration of our potential to mold our financial destinies. It's a call to action to not just dream of financial freedom, but to actively build it, one stream at a time. So let us embark on this venture. With open minds, ready to explore the uncharted waters of opportunity, creativity, and resourcefulness. Together, let's build not just a future of financial security, but a legacy of financial empowerment. As we draw the curtains on our conversation today, let's take a moment to reflect on the ground we've covered. We embarked on this exploration with a simple yet profound understanding. Financial freedom is not a distant dream reserved for a select few, but a tangible reality within grasp for those who choose to reach for it. We started by laying the foundation with the mindset necessary for financial freedom. Remember, the seeds of wealth first take root in the mind. It is here, in the fertile soil of your thoughts, where the journey begins. You are the master architect of your financial destiny, sculpting your future with each decision, each action, and each moment of discipline. We then navigated the principles of money, simplifying its complex nature to understand its role in our lives. Money, we discovered, is not the end goal, but the tool the means to a life of abundance and choice. We talked about paying ourselves first, about saving not as an act of deprivation, but as an act of self-respect and investing, not as a gamble, but as a calculated strategy towards growth. In the effort of our financial plan, we wove in the discipline of budgeting and spending wisely, turning our attention to the art of living within our means. It is in the mindful allocation of our resources where we find the balance between the present delight and future joy. We marveled at the magic of compound interest and the power of investing, understanding that the true wealth is built not by the size of the investment, but by the patience and consistency with which we nurture it. We learned that diversification and the long-term approach are not just strategies, but lifelines to financial stability. Our session took us through the exciting realm of creating additional streams of income, where we saw that our hobbies, skills, and passions are not just for our enjoyment, but potent seeds for financial growth. We celebrated the stories of ordinary people who achieved extraordinary financial success through creativity, perseverance, and the courage to venture into the unknown. And now as we stand at the precipice of action, let me urge you to look inward, to reflect on your financial habits 
and to commit to the changes that beckon you towards a brighter, freer future. It's time to take stock of the seeds you're planting today, for they are the forest of your tomorrow. Let this not be the end, but a continuation of your journey towards financial freedom. The path is laid out before you by the principles we've shared, but it is your steps, your decisions, and your actions that will make all the difference. Dare to dream, but more importantly, dare to act. In closing, let me leave you with a message of hope and resilience. Financial freedom is not just a privilege for the fortunate, but a right that each of us can claim with hard work, smart planning, and unwavering dedication. Remember the only limits that exist are the ones we place on ourselves. With each new dawn, we have the opportunity to rewrite our story, to build a legacy of wisdom, wealth, and well-being. Let us walk from here with our heads held high, our spirits undeterred, and our hearts open to the abundance that life has to offer. Financial freedom is within reach, patiently waiting for those who dare pursue it diligently. Let that pursuit be your guiding star, leading you to a life of limitless potential and unbound joy.